Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So I'm back to talk a little bit more about thrifting today, and in today's video I'm going to give you my top six tips for finding good things at the thrift store. A lot of times I get asked both in my real life and online how I find things that are good quality and good brands because oftentimes people will feel a little bit frustrated when they go thrifting. They feel like it's very overwhelming and it's hard to find things. So I have narrowed it down to six different tips that I use when I personally go thrift shopping, and these are tips that are gonna help you find great quality pieces to really build your wardrobe on a budget. So if you're interested in that, if maybe you're brand new to thrift shopping or you felt a little bit frustrated with it and like you can't quite find what you want, I hope you find this helpful and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the tips. So my first tip is to know your brands. I really shop by brand when I'm thrifting a lot of the time and that helps me to narrow things down a lot. So if I am looking through a rack of clothing, I will have different brands that kind of stand out to me as ones that I really like or as ones that I want to avoid. So just as an example, a couple of my favorites to shop shop at the thrift store are J. Crew and Ann Taylor Loft. I really like those brands and I feel like they're great quality. So when I see those labels, that stands out to me because I know a little bit about the quality of the piece. On the other side of that, when I see a label that is from a Walmart brand or something like that, that might be something that I don't really want to get because the quality is not there and it's not going to be a valuable addition to my wardrobe. So that helps me to really sort through things and narrow it down a little bit. So if you have favorite brands that you know you really like, in the regular stores, you can look for those when you're thrift shopping and it can keep you from being so overwhelmed because you have a little bit more of a goal in mind. It also tells you a lot about the quality of the item if you know about the quality of the brand that it came from. So that is my first tip. That's something that I find really helpful and helps me to narrow down the chaos that you see when you walk into the thrift store. My next tip is to know your colors. So this kind of goes along with the first one a little bit because it helps you to narrow down what you're looking at. If you know what colors you like to wear and you wear a lot of, when you go into a Goodwill, it's usually sorted by color. And so that can really help you to look in specific sections and not feel so overwhelmed by how much is there. So for me, I know I like a lot of neutral colors. I also like dark red and I like blush pink. And so when I'm looking through those racks of clothing, that helps me to narrow down. I might skip over the yellow or the orange. Those are colors that don't look so great on me. So that helps me to really narrow down what I'm looking at and again, not to feel so overwhelmed. I definitely shop by color a lot when I'm thrift shopping, so that's something to use. I don't know that all thrift shops are sorted by color, but Goodwills definitely usually are. Tip number three is to look at the fiber content and know a little bit about the fibers that make up clothes. This is something that you can research online and I find that it's always best to look for natural fibers, things like cotton, silk, wool. These are fibers that are going to last a lot longer in your wardrobe and they look a lot more expensive than something like polyester. So if you're looking at those care instructions labels in the side of a garment, that's going to tell you a lot more about it. So I'm not saying that I never buy something of polyester, but I know the feel of wool and the feel of silk. And if I find those types of materials, I'm much more likely to try it on because I know that it's going to look more expensive and be more long lasting. So if you can take a look at those labels and find out about the fiber content, if you're not familiar with a brand, that can really help you know a lot more about the quality of the garment. Cheaper garments are usually made out of cheaper materials, so something from a Walmart brand or Forever 21 will probably have a higher polyester content and something from a more expensive brand might have more cotton or wool or whatever it will be. So I often shop this way. I do like to look for wool in sweaters and cotton in blouses and things like that. Sometimes I will buy some synthetic fibers as well or blends, but that can just help you know a little bit more about the quality of what you're getting if you know a little bit about fiber content. My next tip is one that I was definitely really intimidated by at first. And I think that it kind of turns a lot of people off, but try the clothes on. I know this is kind of icky and gross a little bit to some people and it definitely was for me for a long time but you really don't know how you'll feel about an item if you are not trying it on. So I like to get quite a lot and I usually try things on and narrow it down to a really small number that I actually end up purchasing because if the fit is not right just leave it you know don't purchase something that you're not going to wear. It can be easy to accumulate a lot when you're thrifting because it's so cheap. So make sure that you're trying things on and that you really like what you're getting, that you're happy with the quality and the fit, and that will make the thrifted items that you have in your wardrobe look a lot nicer because you'll feel confident in them and you will really like how they fit. So make sure you're trying things on. I know it can feel a little bit weird. You can wear, I usually will wear like a tank top or something so that I have a kind of a layer between me and the kind of grubby clothes. So you can do things Things like that just so it doesn't feel quite so gross um, but it is really important if you want to be sure of the items that you are purchasing so I would really recommend trying things on it is a kind of hurdle to get over but it will help you a lot my next tip 
with thrifting is to go more often than you do. If you don't feel like you're finding a lot, go more often. Usually they are putting new things out all the time and you can find new stuff if you go and it gets picked over quite quickly. So you might find that there's the same old stuff that's kind of lingered for a long time. That's because the new stuff is getting purchased. So if you feel a little bit like you're just not finding anything good, maybe go once a week. That's what I try to do once a week or once every two weeks just so that I have an idea of what's coming to the store and I have looked through different things and can try them on. And that way you are getting to things before other people because a lot of people who thrift are pretty avid about it and they go quite often. So things get gone quickly, especially the good stuff. Now that a lot of people are reselling online and things like that, brand names go fast and really high quality pieces go fast. So definitely go often. I would recommend maybe once every two weeks just to make sure you're keeping up with what's there and that'll help you find those deals. And then my last tip for this video is to look in different sections. I have recently started to look through the plus size section when I go to Goodwill because it's actually not always plus size clothes. A lot of stuff gets mixed in there and sometimes it just starts with size large. So for me, I can sometimes wear size large. And so I will take a look through that section and see what I find. I found some great stuff in there. And oftentimes these stores are not very organized, so don't necessarily go by the label that's over the rack. You want to make sure you're looking through things because you could be missing out on some great stuff if you're not looking just because you assume that it's not there, but sometimes things are just really mixed together. So if you really want to find something good, I recommend just looking through and seeing. Take a quick glance through it. Maybe I look through the plus size. Sometimes I look through the men's section and you can just look through and see what's available. And sometimes you'll find some great deals that you wouldn't have otherwise, so that's an easy way to just add a little bit more to what you're looking through and up your chances of finding something good. All right, guys, that is it for these quick six thrifting tips. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about this and I'll do my best to answer those in the comments. I'm thinking about doing a thrifting Q&A in the future too. So if you have some specific questions that you'd like me to answer there, let me know. You can either DM me on Instagram or let me know in a comment here and I might put some of those together for like a most asked questions type of video. So let me know if that sounds interesting to you and let me know if any of these tips were helpful. If you're going to try one out next time you go secondhand shopping, I would love to hear about that. Let me know how it works out for you. That would be great. For me to know. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to watch some more thrifting videos, I have several thrifting vlogs and hauls on my channel, so I will link to some of those in the end card here that you can check out. And if you're not already subscribed and you like thrifting and this kind of thing, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. You can do that by pushing that red button down below this video. That would mean a lot to me, and I would love to have you join. Thank you again so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to spend on my channel each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!